How you doing everybody? In previous videos I talked about if you're a beginner kind of what you want to look for in a set. Well in this video I'm going to talk about kind of after you buy the set and you get it put up uh, kind of how you want to maintain it, how you want to clean it and clean the cars and some basic stuff that you want to buy. Now normally I don't really encourage people when they first start out to buy anything to make the cars go faster because the best thing to make a car going to go faster is you knowing how to drive it better and for it to be running as it should the track to be nice and clean the tires to be nice and clean uh, there's a lot of things you can do to make the experience of owning a slot car track better without really buying anything to make the cars go faster so I'm going to talk about cleaning your track very briefly I'm going to talk about cleaning your cars and lubricating your cars uh, more in depth. And um, I'm going to talk about some of the things you can maybe get to help do that and to keep your track running really well. So uh, when you first put the track up and when you're first kind of into the hobby, uh, most people normally have the track on the floor. And that's, that's basically where you know most people start. It's fine to do that. The problem, problem really is the track is really good at attracting dust. So if you have your track pieces on carpet um, and you're driving the cars around and around and around, dust is going to settle really quickly onto the track and that's going to get picked up on the tires really quickly and then put inside the car as well. And that'll kind of gum up, it'll gum up the tires, the tires will get covered with, with dust the braids will get covered in dust and dirt quickly and then inside the car unless you open up the car to clean it out the car inside on the gears and on the axle bearings all that's going to collect dust pretty efficiently um, which is a bad thing so what you want to do especially if you have Carrera track or if you have Scale Extra track uh, when I worked for Carrera I would always encourage people to have a very lightly damp cloth a tack cloth, a Swiffer, something like that, a uh, microfiber cloth, especially with, uh, with Skelectric as well because it's a very smooth surface. You can really wipe down the, the track and the rails and I would do that before every time you race and uh, you're going to probably have to do it a couple times while you're racing as well because um, the track is going to get really dirty really quickly. Another thing you want to do uh, before you race or after you race is you want to clean the braids on the car. Uh, a really easy, well there's two ways to do it, or well there's a lot of ways to do it. Two ways I've done it, either with a toothbrush, which I don't really do quite as much. Uh, I have a wire brush, a metal wire brush that I use. Um, that's really abrasive though. Um, but also you can use you can use your thumb and your and your thumbnail and just kind of get the dirt out of the braid and then you want to pull the braid so the weave on the braid is nice and tight and obviously it's all you always want the braid to be pointed toward the back of the car um, you want that braid to be really clean as clean as you can get it because if there if there's dirt in there it's not going to make really good contact and the electricity isn't going to get to the motor and the cars are going to sputter a little bit and it's going to feel like there's a problem with your track that's more than just dirty brushes which that happens quite a bit especially again if you're on the floor uh, this is very likely to happen really very quickly with only a few hours of driving uh, you're gonna within a day I would say you're gonna get a fair amount of dirt in there pretty quickly. You also want to make sure that the braid is curled down so it makes good contact with the rails on the track. Um, another thing you can do really easily to clean the tires. Clean tires are happy tires and they're sticky tires. So what you can do is you can get uh, masking tape, you unroll it a little bit and then fold it back on itself and then stick it down and then there's a sticky side to the masking tape and you just roll the roll the tires onto the tape and you will see dirt stick to the tape the other thing you can do and it's even easier 
get a lint brush. I've been using these with the demos I've done for years when I've done demos basically for every company. Uh, you want, you can just roll them on there really easily, front and rear. Um, it's not as crucial on the fronts really, but the fronts will pick up dirt as well, and all the tires might as well be clean. Uh, it, it can't hurt. Um, so get a lint roller. You can get them at the dollar store. They're really cheap. And that that's probably one of the single most uh, important things I can suggest for new new racers, new people just enjoying a brand new set. Invest in a lint roller or two. Clean the tires off really regularly. Okay, the other thing is opening up a car to clean it. Now, some people may be worried about opening up a car and if it voids your warranty with the slot car companies. It doesn't. Um, I work for the three major slot car companies and that's not a concern. If you open up a car, there's either three or four screws. You use a small Phillips screwdriver and you just take, there's body screws. There's three on this Cuda. There's four on this uh, BRZ, this Subaru. I'll turn this around so you all can see it. Um, so you just, it's, you just thread, the, thread them out and then separate the chassis from the body. This is the body, this is the chassis. Um, and then inside, what you'll see is different points that if you've been racing a car, there's gonna be dirt. There's gonna be dirt probably on the back axle and on the gear here. This is a crown gear, this is a pinion gear. The, the electricity goes from here uh, through these brass strips or in a lot of cars cases, wires to the motor and that obviously spins the rear axle. Not really too hard to figure out. Uh, it's an electric car. <laughs> um, so you'll be able to see if you've been racing this car a lot, you'll see that there's a lot of dirt that's collected inside. You wanna get all that out of there. So after you open the car and if you see there's dirt in there, you can clean it out with a toothbrush. You can just clean it out with a rag. You can get some canned air that works really well and blow it out. That really easily gets pretty much everything out of the car. And then you'll see uh, in different cars, it has different designs, but you'll see, um, you'll see the axle and there's bearings here. And in, in the, well, in the front there, there's no axle in this car, no front axle in this car. There is on this car. So you'll see places where there are bearings that make contact with the axle. Uh, those are just like any other, you know, basic machine. <laughs> uh, there, there's resistance in there, and if you don't oil them, uh, they won't roll as fast. They won't roll as smoothly. It'll take more effort to, to make for the car to go around the track. You don't want that. You want that to be clean, and you want that to be oiled. Now, for slot cars, and this is a special oil. Well, it's not special oil. It's just a lightweight oil. Um, what you do want though is you want a needle applicator for it and you can you can put you just need a drop a small drop of oil on each on each bearing on the axle so there's four uh, points where you want just a tiny drop of oil in there and the oil where you want the oil to go in right where the axle and the bearing meet and through what's called capillary attraction, that oil will get pulled into the bearing. So, and you just need a very light amount of oil in there. That will go in there, that'll oil everything, make everything nice and smooth, roll really well. And again, if you got all that dirt out of there, this will make your car last longer. It'll make your car go a lot faster. Uh, and I mean, it'll just, it's something you wanna do regularly. You don't need to do this every week. You don't need to do this every day. Uh, I mean, if you're really driving the cars hard, you may want to do this every week. Um, it really depends on how much you're driving the cars. It really does. Uh, like when I race at my club, uh, we pretty much do that. We, we oil the cars, we clean the cars uh, pretty much before every race, before every, uh, 
sometimes in between races, definitely in between races, we'll clean tires on a car. You know, we have lint rollers at the track, that I, the tracks that I race at, and you just, you just go like that, roll them clean, and you're off to the races, literally. So I've talked about some of the things that you probably should invest in. You probably should invest in a lint roller. You probably should invest in a small in a set of very small uh, Phillips screwdrivers. Uh, it's good idea to have maybe a couple sizes. And another thing to invest in that's a great thing to invest in is some oil because you will need oil uh, to keep the cars going really well. And there's uh, silicone grease also. Uh, that you can put on the gears and that'll help help the gears uh, spin, help the gears mesh really well. The car will be a little quieter, it'll be a lot faster. Now a company like Slot Car Corner, they help out with this. So they have two different kinds of kits. One that's got some oil and grease that'll help lubricate the cars and if you already have little screwdrivers you don't have to worry about you know getting a set that has screwdrivers in with it. But if you don't have anything yet they have a, another kit, and I have both of these links and photos in here showing you the kits. They have a kit that has two Phillips screwdrivers and a hex head screwdriver that will fit slotted cars and slotted parts. You may need that in the future. If you, need, if you have slotted cars, you definitely need that. Um, and that second kit also has oil and grease in with it. So that's really like the best starter kit that I would suggest because it has basically everything that you would need uh, except lint brushes <laughs> that you could get as a starter set for you know a beginning racer and even if you're fairly casual with you know just playing with your kids uh, you're going to want to open up the cars you're going to want to maintain the cars you're going to want to keep them running well because I mean you spent money on the cars and the track you might as well maintain them and get the most enjoyment out of them that you possibly can. Those two kits are going to help you do that. All right, so in this video, I've gone over a couple really basic things. And this video is really for beginners. It's really not for, you know, folks that have been in the hobby for a long time. Uh, you know, guys like myself, I have lint rollers everywhere. I have multiple little screwdrivers. I have so many Phillips screwdrivers all over the place. Um, I lose them, I find them, I buy more when I go to a store that has some, I'll just buy some if I see little Phillips screwdrivers. Uh, you'll go through them, trust me. So I've talked about a couple things to buy. I've talked about cleaning off your track. That's really important. If the track is dirty, you're not going as fast as you could. Uh, if the tires on your cars are dirty, you're not going as fast as you could. If your car is dirty inside, the car is not going as fast as it could. It's not going to last as long. It's going to be really slow. The braids may not be making contact. So that's the other thing you want to do is really make sure that you clean the braids often. Uh, those are some of the kind of basic things that I've gone over in this video. If you like the video, please let me know. If you have comments about it, please put them down below. If you haven't yet already, like and subscribe the video. It really means a lot. It definitely helps uh, YouTube kind of boost it and the views. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate you all watching this video of, you know, kind of what you need to get after you've already gotten the slot car set. So uh, Dave Kennedy from Slot Car News. Thanks and see you all again soon.